camembert. Now let's see about Judy and Jimmy and the cinnamon bear. We left them in the magic forest, which they got into by walking through a big picture in the wintergreen witch's house. Remember how frightened they were when they met Fifo the giant? And remember how nice he turned out to be and how he took them to the goody-goody grove for an elegant banquet? But they still had to overtake the crazy quilt dragon who had stolen the silver star again. So they left Fifo and plunged into the forest. And then all of a sudden, like, it got pitch dark. And they saw two yellow lights like eyes flashing in the inky blackness. Ooh, do you suppose it's the witch? Maybe it's some terrible monster. Oh, it's so dark. And those awful yellow eyes. Oh, don't be scared, Judy. I'll take care of you. What was that? Gee, I wish I knew. It's so creepy. It's some awful monster. That's his breathing. Look, it's getting light again. Sure enough. It must have been magic. <laughs> and there's my monster. <laughs> Why, it's the crazy quill dragon. Can you beat that? And here we were scared like everything. Looks like he's fainted or something. He's all in a heap. Yes, but his eyes are wide open. That's what we saw in the dark. Hey, crazy quilt, wake up and hear the birdies. Here, let me try. I'll tweak his nose for him. Whoa! Oh, where? Oh, oh, where am I? Never mind where you are. Where's our silver star? Up to your old tricks again, huh, crazy Is quilt? Is this a dream? Oh. Now don't try and pull that stuff. Come on, talk fast. Where's the star? 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 Oh, I'm so bewildered, I... Oh, now it all comes back to me. Judy, Jimmy, and Paddy O'Cinnamon, at long last, an end to this nightmare. Is it really you, my friends, or am I still dreaming? Of course it's us. Who else would it be? I didn't know. I thought it might be more of the wintergreen witch's magic. Magic? Yes. Oh, you'll never know what I've been through. Oh, the shame of it all. Oh, agony. Why don't you stop your infernal morning and tell us what happened? Well, to make a short story long, after those pirates sailed away with you, I dashed hither and thither like a mad thing in search of enough corks to make me watertight so I could swim after you. Did you find them? Luckily, yes. I stumbled on the requisite four barrels of corks, swallowed them hastily, and in I plunged. And you swam after us all the way? All the way. A mere nothing, though. By the by, I was backstroke champion last year, you know. And I also hold medals for freestyle swimming, the root beer crawl... Oh, quit bragging crazy quilt and get on with your story. Far be it for me to enumerate my aquatic achievements to an un appreciative audience. Uh, well, anyway, I swam like 10,000 dragons and arrived at the island of Obi in remarkably good time. But when I attempted to land, I was stopped by a wave which I couldn't get through. Sure, that was the magic wave. Decidedly. It occupied a great deal of my time, but finally I managed to dive under it and proceeded to the shore. There, to my delight, I saw the silver star reposing on the bosom of a roly-poly policeman. And then you talked him into giving it to you. I didn't either. I was just about to engage him in casual conversation when, wham, something indescribable overcame me. Yeah, 
You just couldn't resist the star. It was so bright and shiny. Oh, it was terrible. I wasn't myself at all. Some powerful and evil influence seemed to guide me. A voice kept repeating and repeating in my left ear. That's the blue and orange one, you know. Get the star. Come this way. And so, although I wanted to wait for you, in agony I fought to wait for you, this diabolical force kept pulling me. Sure, just itchy claws. That's all, itchy claws. Don't interrupt him, Cinnamon Bear. And to my utter shame, I succumbed to the voice, got the star by pretending you'd sent me after it, and was drawn like steel to a magnet, up the beach, into a house, through the picture frame, into this magic forest, right to the spot where you found me just now. And then... Oh, oh, I shudder to think of it. What happened? The winter green witch appeared. Applesauce. The educated owl said she went to the witch's convention. A trick, a hoax. This ominous weird thing stood before me, and then I realized it was she who had exercised this horrible power over me. Made me steal the star. Oh, come now, crazy quilt. Don't blame it on a lady. She's no lady. And she made me hand over the precious star, and then I think she must have put me in a short, trance, because that's all I remember. Oh, agony. Jiminy Cricket, poor old crazy quilt. Sounds fishy to me, that's what it does. Well, you believe me, don't you, Judy? Of course I do. Didn't you save us from the Inkaboos? Sure he did. Say, what did the witch look like, crazy quilt? Oh, hideous, horrible, terrifying. She changed colors all the time. Ugly green, then purple, then blood red. And that nightmare of a face, great rolling eyes, three fangs peering through an ugly slit of a mouth, and... Stop! I don't think I want to hear any more. Oh, Judy, if you get scared just by hearing Crazy Quill talk about that old witch, how are you going to be when we meet her face to face? I don't want to meet her face to face at all. Well, that's just what we're going to have to do if we want to get our silver star back. Sure. Got to meet her face to face. Got to be very brave. Uh, That's what I say, uh, though somewhat reluctantly. I guess I can be as brave as the rest of you. But how are we going to find our way back to the place where we came through the picture frame? Gee willikers, I hadn't thought about that. These woods all look the same. Do you know which way to go, Crazy Quilt? Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry, or maybe dreadfully happy, that I haven't the slightest idea which way to reach the Wintergreen Witch's house. Remember, I've been in a trance or something. Huh. I wish you'd go back into your trance and shut the door after you. Well, children, I, I guess there's nothing left to do but follow our noses. Hope we'll find the place where we came in. Come on, let's go. Looky, look what just popped up on the other side of that bush. Why, it's a yellow rabbit. And he's grinning from ear to ear. Very friendly looking, too. Perhaps he can direct us. I shall accost him in my best Dragonian manner. <clears throat> uh, greetings, my little woodland wayfarer. My little relative of the blessed Easter bunnikin. Uh, won't you join us? Oh, look at him hop right over to us. And now, <laughs> who might you be? I'm called the Rhyming Rabbit, because rhyming is my habit. Listen to him, Jimmy. He talks just like a poem sounds. Intriguing no end. Uh, tell me, Rhyming Rabbit, what makes you talk in poetry? I ate a rhyming dictionary, which made me very literary. I rhyme from break of day till sunset because of all the rhymes I once had. This is all very interesting, but it doesn't help us find our way out of here. If you're so good at rhyming, Mr. Rabbit, perhaps you can tell us how to get to the Wintergreen Witches? You want to know which way's the witches? It's hard to tell just way witches. Oh, come, come, my little poet laureate. You either know or you don't. That's what I say. Can you show us how to get back to the picture frame? I'd be most happy to oblige you. Just follow me and I will guide you. That's grand, Mr. Rabbit. Come on, everybody. Yeah, one moment, please. Is that a beautiful beehive over there, or am I dreaming? It's a beehive, all right. Why? Hmm. Next to cinnamon buns, there's nothing like honey. Oh, come on, Patio Cinnamon. I thought you were in a hurry. Oh, it won't take a minute for a snack. Mm. What's that? If I'm not mistaken, it's a bumblebee, and he's guarding the hive. Oh. What's a bumblebee? Out of my way, ruffian. You better mind your own business. I am. Honey is my business. Excuse me for the slight intrusion. You'd better mind your P's and Q's and stay away from bumblebees and listen to a bit of reason. No mere bee's going to stop me. Honey, here I come. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) oh. (laughs) <laughs> he got me. 
Tommy. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, laugh. Oh, oh, somebody get me a mud puddle quick. And as for you, you rhyming rabbit, don't stand there grinning. I suppose you're going to say I told you so. Well, what do you got to say for yourself, smarty? You should always let the bumblebee be. You'll never win his friendship, no siree. You may hop up with a gadfly, though he's more or less a bad fly, but you'd better let the bumblebee be. You can dawdle with a doodle bug or flea. Ah, Katie did his charm and company. You can visit with a cricket or a cockroach in a thicket, but you'd better let the bumblebee be. Just take a bit of sound advice from me and keep away from his vicinity. You may think you'd have a keen time, but he'd sting you in the meantime, so you'd better let the bumblebee be. Ouch! You better let the bumblebee be. What a shame. That bumblebee stung the rabbit, and he wasn't doing a thing either. Water, water. Pour on water. He got me where he hadn't order. Never trust a bumblebee, cause he'll sting you like he stung me. He's running away. It serves him right. He laughed when I got stung, didn't he? But he was going to show us how to get back through the picture frame. What to do now? What to do? I know. The whistle. The one the giant gave me. Giant? Oh, I don't like that one little bit. Sounds bad. Oh, but fee Fo's a gentle giant, and he was very nice to us. Sure, and he gave me this little whistle and said if we ever needed help, just to blow on it three times, and he'd come a-running. I'm sure fee Fo can help us. Blow the whistle quick, Jimmy. Okay. Oh, goodness, Jimmy. That's not loud enough for anyone to hear. Uh, better let me try it. I'm uh, good at wood instruments, you know. Played the tuba in college. All right, Crazy Quilt. Here it is. Ah, now watch the old maestro. I place the instrument thus. Inhale. And... Uh, what happened? Gee willikers. He swallowed the whistle. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. It seems that our friends will never quite get out of trouble. And what's more important, how will they ever get out of the magic forest now that Crazy Quilt has swallowed the whistle? Well, maybe we'll find out next time. So be sure to listen, won't you? Mm -hmm.